In this video by deck plate we will understand the VA rating for inguinal hernia, ventral or postoperative hernia, femoral hernia, symptomatic or marked visceroptosis and hiatal hernia. Disclaimer. This video is for educational purpose only. It's not intended for doctor-patient or lawyer-client relationship. Inguinal, ventral, postoperative, femoral, symptomatic visceroptosis, and hiatal hernias are conditions where internal organs protrude through weak spots in the abdominal wall. These hernias are often linked to military service due to the physical demands, heavy lifting, and strenuous activities experienced by service members, increasing their risk of developing these conditions. Hernia, including femoral, inguinal, umbilical, ventral, incisional, and other but not including hiatal. Diagnostic Code 7338. A hernia occurs when an internal part of the body pushes through a weakness in the muscle or surrounding tissue wall. Types include femoral, inguinal, umbilical, ventral, and incisional. Hernias can cause pain, discomfort, and complications such as obstruction or strangulation of intestines. Ratings for Irreparable Hernias 100% rating, irreparable hernia present for 12 months or more, size 15 cm or greater in one dimension, causing pain during three or more activities, bending over, ADLs, walking, climbing stairs. 60% rating, irreparable hernia present for 12 months or more, size 15 cm or greater in one dimension, causing pain during two activities, bending over, ADLs, walking, climbing stairs. 30% rating, irreparable hernia present for 12 months or more, size 3 cm to 15 cm in one dimension, causing pain during two activities, bending over, ADLs, walking, climbing stairs. 20% rating, irreparable hernia present for 12 months or more, size 3 cm to 15 cm in one dimension, causing pain during one activity, bending over, ADLs, walking, climbing stairs. 10% rating, Irreparable hernia present for 12 months or more, smaller than 3 cm. 0% rating, asymptomatic hernia that is present and repairable, or has been repaired. These ratings reflect the severity of the hernia, its impact on daily activities, and the pain experienced by the individual. Note. When dealing with two compensable inguinal hernias, start by assessing the hernia that causes the most severe disability. Assign a rating to this hernia and then increase that rating by 10% to account for the second hernia. However, if the more severely disabling hernia already has a 100% rating, do not add the extra 10%. The evaluation can be based on the ability to perform any of the following daily activities, bathing, dressing, personal hygiene, or transfers. Ventral or postoperative hernia. Diagnostic code 7339. A ventral or postoperative hernia occurs when abdominal tissue or organs protrude through a weakened spot in the abdominal wall, typically at the site of a previous surgical incision. Symptoms may include a noticeable bulge, pain, and discomfort, especially during physical activity or straining. Femoral hernia, diagnostic code 7340. A femoral hernia occurs when tissue pushes through a weak spot in the muscle wall near the femoral artery in the groin or upper thigh. It often presents as a painful lump and is more common in women. Surgical repair is typically needed to prevent complications. Visceroptosis, symptomatic, marked, diagnostic code 7342. This condition involves the abnormal downward displacement of abdominal organs, leading to significant symptoms like digestive issues, abdominal pain, and discomfort. The severity of visceroptosis is assessed by the VA at a 10% disability rating, reflecting its impact on daily function and overall health. Hiatal hernia and perisophageal hernia, diagnostic code 7346. Hiatal hernia occurs when the stomach pushes through the diaphragm into the chest. Perisophageal hernia is a more severe type where part of the stomach squeezes beside the esophagus. Rate as esophagus. Stricture of Diagnostic Code 7203. Symptoms include heartburn, chest pain, and difficulty swallowing. Documented history of recurrent or refractory esophageal strictures causing dysphagia with at least one of the symptoms present. One aspiration, two undernutrition, or three substantial weight loss as defined by Section 4.112a. 
and treatment with either surgical correction or percutaneous esophago gastrointestinal tube 80% rating. Documented history of recurrent or refractory esophageal strictures causing dysphagia, which requires at least one of the following one dilatation three or more times per year, two dilatation using steroids at least one time per year, or three esophageal stent placement 50% rating. Documented history of recurrent esophageal strictures causing dysphagia, which requires dilatation no more than two times per year 30% rating. Documented history of esophageal strictures that requires daily medications to control dysphagia otherwise asymptomatic 10% rating. Documented history without daily symptoms or requirement for daily medications 0% rating. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like our videos.